Right team, welcome back to Caravan Caps and another Tackle Tuesdays. In this Tackle Tuesdays, what we're going to be going over is a few products from a company called Carpa Tackle. If you haven't heard of Carpa Tackle, they offer really good value products that are actually still of a really good quality. So all the other videos in this channel, a lot of them have been about really high-end premium products that have been quite expensive. So we're going to the other end and we're going to show you some products that I think are fantastic value. A quick one for this video, this, this video has the sponsor and that sponsors Parker Bates. Parker Bates are going to be giving away a five kilo bundle for one of the subscribers and one of the people on the channel from this video. I'll give you a little bit of details later in the video and tell you what you need to know in order to get involved with that. So this is the first product from Carpet Tackle. I've been sent this product, I haven't paid for it. You know, this is an honest and open review. Carpet Tackle haven't seen this video or had any input into it before uploading it. So again, I wouldn't review anything on my channel that I wasn't willing to use in my own carp fishing. And I tell you what, this is an absolutely fantastic product. So if you've been looking for a new retainer, I find that retainers, I know it's some to some people you think, yeah, it's just a retainer. But certain things are just make it that little bit special. And in regards to this retainer, what you get first and foremost is a waterproof bag a lot of the style of bags in this style where it's quite a smaller like thinner material rather than welded you find that the leak however you know what i haven't actually experienced that with this bag itself and to be honest i've been using this now religiously pretty much for 12 months so it comes in dpm or your standard carpet green and very very little to show on the actual bag a small decal showing the brand itself cap tackle so as you open the bag, this is what makes this different from anything I've seen on the market. Don't get me wrong, there might have been something similar to this in the past. However, this is the first of its kind that I've personally seen. So I'll just get that bag out of the way and I'll show you. So most slings come full size. And I find that when you place fishing places like Linear, what you'll find is you end up with like three or four slings on you and a couple of nets. And it can get a bit excessive. But what I like about this is the fact that you can pack a few of them down stick them under your seat in the back of the chair because they're only half the size you know they pack down nice and compact you can pack them better than i can but just for the sake of this video i packed it down quickly so for years i used my diary infinity um retention sling and the reason i use that is because i like a full mesh construction and what i like about this product it has a full mesh construction it comes and i've literally just folded it out there and it becomes a full size sling then and what you've got in the middle is these bars so you can split in half and fold it down which makes it super easy for transporting and honestly i can't explain to you how much i actually like that and it sounds mad because it is just a retention sling so further more than that what i do like about this is obviously it comes in the dpm i prefer the carpet green color uh, and i'm actually going to order after i've done this review i've been waiting for so long to finally get this review out i'm going to get a couple more of this and tell you what i'll do in a video going forward on the channel I will also do a giveaway of one of these slings because I like it that much. So keep watching the channel, like and subscribe. And what you'll find is later on down the line, there will be one of these as a giveaway. But obviously in this video, we've got our Parker Bates giveaway. So keep listening and I'll give you some details about that. So what you've got is a two zips. Uh, these zips are fantastic in the regards that they're very easy to open. Sometimes you find on the better value products, you find that the zips aren't the best. I've been hammering this now. It looks like new, to be honest. It's took it took the riggers very well. The material is very hard wearing. You've obviously got the bar that floats and it floats on itself. So it's a floating retention sling. Includes clips as well to be able to secure your actual zips in the event that there's nothing worse than not clipping your zips or not being fully zipped up. That allows you to zip both zips to the top and then you know that your fish is safe. One thing I do really like about this sling is, and don't get me wrong, a lot of slings on the market do have this, but some don't and my old sling doesn't so it does did used to get on my head in what you'll find is it's got a retention cord the retention cord is plenty, uh, plenty long enough to be honest to be able to retain your fish and get it out into that slightly deeper water away from the edge obviously for fish safety and to be honest fish fish safety is paramount what i do like with mesh i find that with mesh you can see through it quite easily and you can get the fins tucked in if the fins aren't quite tucked in when you've put the net inside inside your actual sling and lift it out i find with the mesh you can see that a lot better and that's what i really like i also like that mesh transmits like the water through it a lot easier rather than having panels and material and things like that and then obviously on the retention cord what you've got is a uh, bank stick adapter so that works really well 
You've also got heavy duty handles as well for lifting your fish and uh, eyes to obviously attach it to your scales. And there's not a lot more that you can really say about retention sling, but this, the key point about it is the value. You know, a lot, you can pay upwards of up to a hundred pound nowadays for a retention sling. I think these come in at around 33 to 37 pound, depending on the color. So for me, this is my favorite like piece of equipment that I've received in the last 12 months and used that. I thought, you know what, that is really ingenuitive. What you probably might say is the fact that obviously these bars are folding bars and you're probably gonna say in the comments that to be honest, are they gonna be strong enough? So what I did as a test is in order to stop people being skeptical is I put 30 kilos of lead in this retention sling and lifted it up with a T-bar and then I left it hooked up for about three days. And there's obviously no bend in the bars. Obviously the material is fine, all the stitching and stuff like that. So most fish in the UK, I can guarantee you that there's no chance that you've got to have any issues with the weight of the fish with the folding design. So we'll get that product out of the way and then we'll go on to the next product. But for me, for the price, you can't beat it. That is an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. So the next product I was sent was the uh, carp cradle. And personally, I like to use mats. Carp Tackle do offer mats as well uh, in their design and they're excellent value for money. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description as well for all these products and obviously Carp Tackle itself. So again, you get obviously a waterproof carry bag. Again, I haven't really found any issues. You probably find this might be actually wet to be fair. I've, I've been using this for fishing at the weekend and I managed to nab a nice fish at the caravan, so pretty happy with that. But what you find, obviously, it comes with a carrier bag. You can fit the actual cradle and also the retention sling in this bag if you pack it well, and it's dead easy to put up as well. So just get this out of the bag now to show you. So it comes in a two-part construction when I can get it out of the bag. Obviously, it may be a little bit wet because it has been getting used and it is simply folds out really quickly and it's a matter of applying the padding into the middle and that's it your actual cradle is set up so it weighs about 1.4 kilos so it's nice and lightweight uh, one great feature i find about this that i'm really happy with i am predominantly a mat user however i have been using this as part of it to be honest so the material itself is really hard wearing i haven't had any issues I left it out for a couple of weeks at the caravan as well to see if it had fade in the UV. And it never actually did that, so I'm really happy with that. Inside the actual cradle itself, you've got a nice waterproof lining as well. The padding itself is very adequate for what you need, and the size is very adequate for what you need for UK carping. It's a nice and compact and light, really easy to use and set up cradle, to be honest. I'm, I'm well and truly happy with that. I find that the sides are a little bit higher than some, which is really good. Obviously, stops the fish flapping about and getting out, which is something you want. Because at the end of the day, carp care is absolutely key when it comes to carp fishing. And I think for the price, again, this is another good value price. You know, a lot of these cradles from other brands are, are in the £100 range, you know. And this, I, I believe, to be about £55, which I think is really, really good value because it's on that lower end of the budget for or what you'd end up paying but you know what product wise the quality is absolutely fantastic you know i can't say much more about a cradle but it is brilliant so i'm going to get rid of this now and then i'm going to show you the last product that i've been sent from carpet tackle and then we'll take you through what you need to do to get involved with a parker baits giveaway right so the next product has been used by Luke for quite some time now and I'm just going to do it this way just to be able to show you I thought it'd be great to show you for the example for the video so Luke had the Nash scope uh, rucksack he's had that for he's had loads of Nash rucksacks and he ends up either getting it at by the mice or what has happened is Luke packs maximum amount of tackle into a rucksack it's absolutely ridiculous and I'm probably going to struggle to get this on the table because it is packed from Luke's fishing unbelievable well there must be about 97 kilos of lead in this rucksack but he ended up stealing this rucksack off me i've been hammering this one i've been using it for bits and bobs i've actually been using it for work as well as just to try and get as much wear and tear on it and to see because this product is super super value to be honest like every single product that i've used from carpet tackle and what you can see on the website is based on it's not it might not have for example when i show you this 
mega amounts of padding or it might not have super super premium zips but where it prices itself for the value of what you pay to what you get is absolutely fantastic and that's something i wanted to bring to the channel i actually didn't um get contacted by carper i contacted them a long time ago and said you know what i've seen your rucksack i really like the design of it i've seen the value is there any chance i could have a look so next from carper tackle i've got the rucksack and you're gonna have to excuse me when i get this on the table because the table may break oh. right so what we've got here now is the carper tackle rucksack and luke's been using this it has been absolutely battered so I just want to take you through it. First and foremost, the thing that is the best thing about this 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 actual rucksack is its value. You know, rucksacks now are in excess of £100 generally or around the £100 mark. This is £35. And what you get is obviously you get a front pocket on it. This can fit a corder or a fox tackle box as you would like. I like these two pockets that you get at the top here. These work really well, you know, for just little bits of accessories. And you can actually physically see how much gear that Luke's managed to get in this. It weighs a ton. Believe it or not, this amount of gear ripped the handles off his uh, Nash rucksack, so that's why he doesn't use that. And I could send you a picture of that just to prove it, like, but obviously it's all about honesty. And then you've got a nice long side pocket on either side. Obviously, these will allow you to put your bank sticks and all that, and they fit in there. To be honest, I'm not going to go too far into the rucksack because I don't want to see what tackle Luke's got in there, what belongs to me. So as you can see, you haven't got as much padding on this rucksack as you have on certain rucksacks and obviously that's reflected in the price but the straps themselves are comfortable the rucksack is comfortable there's enough padding for your back on the back and i've not had any issues with this i've absolutely hammered this rucksack and would be happy to use it myself definitely in my fishing you know i wouldn't actually review it on the channel if i wasn't willing to use it in my own fishing so testament to how well the stitching's made for the value because that's always a worry when something's cheaper you expect that it's not going to last and you know what this has been absolutely battered so the straps are all there's not there's not a mark on the stitching you know and the amount of weight in here you'd expect that to be the case so what you have on the top is two retaining straps and what you can do is obviously strap that the retention sling on top or anything else mats etc and they're, they're nice and long and adjustable and then inside you've got cavernous space to be honest that fits I'd say it fits quite a bit more tackle in it than the Thinking Anglers uh, rucksack that obviously we reviewed on the channel. And then there's a small mesh pocket on the top, again, for just obviously storing accessories. Literally, the amount of kit in this thing is unbelievable. You'd be quite shocked at what's in here. I actually might do a bit of a time lapse and show you all the stuff that he's probably got in here. However, fantastic bit of kit for the value. One of the best rucksacks for the money on the market. You know, if I was... Just getting into carp fishing i was on a budget you know say like my son or my daughter was starting carp fishing and i didn't have a lot to spend i'd definitely highly recommend this product as something to opt for 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 the better value if that's what you're looking for i'll just get rid of that now right so i'll now take you through what we're going to do for the giveaway from parker bait so pa parker baits have obviously kindly decided to sponsor this video and they're going to give a five kilo bundle away to one of the subscribers so what you have to do to be involved with that is like the video and comment down below what is your best carp care tips and carp care equipment that you've used in carp fishing what we're starting to do on tackle tuesdays is if you haven't seen my poll i think i made about 92 pound which is probably about five months worth of money from um youtube and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that money and I'm going to then reinvest it into the channel. And at the end of the team, like I'll do a review. That's a initial review of that product. And I'll give it away in the video. You know, Caravan Carp is about being honest and open. It's not for my gain. It's about helping people to get better value. You know, everything's getting really expensive nowadays. And I want to give back to the community that obviously supports us at Caravan Carpers. So get involved in that. Get down below. Give us some comments. And also get involved in the community post and hopefully give us some ideas on products that I can review next. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Caravan Carp is out.